So I finally was able to get Proxima Midnight to tier 3. It only took like about a week or so, but we finally have her. And we're gonna be looking at basically how good she is with her new uniform and her tier 3 advancement. Now if you don't know why uh, this video took so long to make, well you can check out my Null Gears video, the latest one I posted. But yeah, so we're gonna look at the build that we have right now. It's a pretty good build I would say. We have a crit damage and ignore defense almost capped out. Crit rate is about where we want it to be kind of because her seal buffs it out. Cooldown is capped out and we have some dodge on here as well which does help her survivability in PvE content. So yeah, we have Black Order, Fast Movement, Agility. We have a couple of Uru on her. We have uh, one Odin's Blessing on her as well. So it's not like a super super jack build but it's a fairly competent build I would say. Uh, we don't have type enhancement because I don't think it helps her that much since I'm mainly going to use her for PvE content anyway. Um, but you can upgrade that as well. Overdrive set, we have a stage 6 overdrive here. I think Power of Angry Hulk is better for her long run, but whatever. We have a crit damage 140 proc here. Very simple obelisk, a very, uh, you know, free to play, reasonably free to play obelisk. So yeah, and we have a legendary uniform as well. I am working on getting it mythic because I have all of the options except for the Ghost Rider option over there. Uh, we have the Odin, Magneto, and Iron Man, as well as Valkyrie, the uniform that I have at Mythic as well. So yeah, we're getting a lot of value out of this uniform when we get it to Mythic, so that's going to be great for me. But that doesn't necessarily answer the question of how good Proxima is going to be. And so, of course, we're going to be putting Proxima through the test just to see how much value she has as a character. So yeah, let's get on to the testing, shall we? So when it came to comparing Proxima with another character, I didn't really have another character in mind that I could reasonably compare her to because I don't have like a great universal female villain with me, I believe. So I just decided to take her up against Vision, who's a fairly recent character. I, by recent, I mean he recently got an upgrade. So he should be fairly up there in the meta right now. And Vision is. I think the community has basically accepted that Vision is just a very good character overall. Now both characters have 140 procs. If you haven't checked out my Vision video prior, I haven't really changed the build that much. So that's kind of what we're working with. They both have similar teams as well, both having an Odin lead and a mystique support so yeah and we can already see that well proxima midnight is just blazing through this much much faster than vision is and i think that's reasonably what you would expect kind of because she is a native tier 2 character after all while vision is just you know a normal native tier 1 is that what you call them but yeah whatever he's a native tier 1 character that you rank up normally proxima is just more expensive and i think this is what you would expect from someone who's you know, just much more expensive than Vision is, right? Took her just above a minute to clear the Null stage. And so I think it's very reasonable to say that Proxima is just, just better than Vision. Like I said earlier, Vision isn't even a terrible character. He's nothing to scoff at, you know, very comparable to the likes of Ghost Rider and Thor. So I think it is very safe to say that Proxima is a great character. When I saw content creators making videos out of the Black Order, I did think that people were hyping Proxima up a little bit too much. But having used her now, I think the hype is kind of reasonable and understandable because she's just very strong. As a standalone character on her own, I think she's very powerful and it's a very good investment for your roster. It's kind of amazing to see actually. Poor Vision is struggling to keep up with her. He's almost hitting the 2 minute mark, which is around the mark that we hit in the Vision video. So. You know, it just shows that Vision is just very consistent when it comes to a normal damage proc. But also highlights how strong Proxima is. So I'm going to be showcasing a really good run that I have with Proxima here. This is her best team based on my roster, Mystique support, Valkyrie support, and of course her lead and all that. So she has all that ignore defense kind of more or less capped out. And while we look at this run, I'm also going to be discussing what exactly makes Proxima Midnight's kit so great. So we're going to be looking at three main skills. I mean, excluding the tier 3 skill, but part of her regular kit. We have three main skills that we look at that kind of points to what makes her strong exactly. So we have a third skill that increases her guaranteed dodge rate by 30% and her guaranteed crit rate by 30%, both helping her damage and her survivability. Now the skill is kind of like she readies these spears two sets of spears come out and so you want to have those two sets of spears come out before you cancel it if you want to get all of the spears and sort of delay damage so it works really well with a damage pro then we look at her fourth skill which has a charge mechanic similar to thor's so you need to charge in order to get the full buff and the full buff is quite substantial i would say 
There is a Paralysis, which of course doesn't apply to World Boss Legend, but works for World Boss Ultimate and ABX game modes. There is also Immunity that is granted to you for 4 seconds, which is very helpful survivability-wise. But the juicy buff comes in the form of All Attack and All Defense plus 60%, All Speed by 1%, crit rate by 30% and this is what I meant by her skill capping out her crit rates which means you only really need 45% crit rate on her. Then you have her fifth skill which uh, decreases enemy attacks, again doesn't apply to world boss or anything like that. It does give you a bit of a heal with 10%, it does give you invincibility for 3 seconds. It's a little bit short but you know, it, it helps, it helps. And it gives you another juicy buff with an all attack 40%, all defense 40% buff, and all speed by 1%. Now the fifth skill is cancelable, like the third skill. With the fifth skill, Proxima launches into the air and throws a spear down, and the damage on the fifth skill is very delayed. You have to wait like a second or two before the spears come launching out of the sky. And so, this makes her a very proc-friendly character. Now I think it's also worth discussing her tier 3 skill, which I think is very strong. Because, of course, it has accumulation, and we know how strong accumulation is. A lot of the best characters in the game have accumulation. And this is kind of where a lot of her big, big damage comes from. So, it's usually the moment that you cast a tier 3 skill, and the moments after you cast a tier 3 skill. That's when the biggest damage is going to come from Proxima. So, yeah, she has accumulation, 0.6%. She also has, you know, ignore dodge rate by 70%. A bit of HP recovery there, 30%. There's just a lot of text there. So given that that's the case, the ideal rotation that in my opinion you should follow without your tier 3 skill is to 5, cancel 3, cancel 4, and hold on the 4, proc on the 4. Now that's what you do normally and when you have your tier 3 skill, you want to do 5, cancel 3, cancel tier 3 skill. Now I've seen people say that you can cancel the tier 3 skill and indeed you can, but I feel like it throws off the timing of the proc very very substantially. So much so that it makes the runs much much more inconsistent and I think I value a little more consistency when playing with a character like Proxima. I'd, I'd rather just have the regular consistent damage instead of you know possibly the max damage but with my runs being a little more inconsistent. So that's kind of what I've been following throughout this video and as you can see it's working quite well I would say. Stage 3 isn't exactly my highest stage. My highest stage is around stage 8 and stage 9 and that's without Pierce. It's not very high, I know you might see a lot of content creators doing like 20s or 30s already. But you know, I'm just working here without Pierce on my card, so this is the best I can do unfortunately. But yeah, regarding the highest stages I can reach, it's only really Moonstone that can hit that high. I don't have characters that can quite match her when it comes to a DPS right now. Stage 3 is sort of below average for me. A little bit below average I would say, because I'm working on stage 4 or 5 right now approximately. But I think given that she has a normal damage proc obelisk, you know, it's, it's quite reasonable for her. And I think this is just a pretty good showing for her. Now, I will say that if you're working with a free-to-play build, it's also very helpful for you if you would give her a guard break immunity obelisk. Because she gets guard broken very often when I play her. And if you're not going to give her a CTP anyway, you know, you might as well make your runs a little more comfortable with... You know, maybe guard break immunity so you can maybe hit a couple more times, maybe you don't get knocked back so often. So yeah. Overall, as this showcase may have shown you, Proxima is just overall a pretty good character and she's very easy to play as well. It's a very simple rotation to follow, just very easy apart from, you know, getting guard broken occasionally. And yeah, I might not be able to clear this stage because, you know, I mean, but it's really close and I was kind of playing this on PC also so I was, you know, maybe having a bit of a harder time. But you can see, look at how close that is. You guys can just give it to me, right? Like, just pretend I cleared it. It's really close. I basically got there. I'm going to pretend that that's a W because it's about as close to a W as you can get, right? So as a standalone character, Proxima is pretty great. That's what the testing basically showed, but I haven't really discussed also another part of her kit that makes her incredibly, incredibly valuable, and that's the fact that she's a support that can be taken into World Boss Legend. Her uniform passive, which applies to villain allies, increases damage dealt to superhero faction by 40% and increases damage dealt to supervillains by 
35%. So she's basically a support character for villain allies that you can take in the world boss legend. And I think that is incredibly valuable because we don't have a lot of supports that we can take in the world boss legend. And very few of them are supports of this caliber where they increase damage against a specific faction. Off the top of my head, I only know Mystique, Valkyrie, and Ebony if you consider the universal types, you know, a specific faction. But yeah, I think this just increases Proxima's value a lot more because if you get her, that basically means you get to punch a lot harder in world boss legend regardless of whether or not you use Proxima. So even if you never use Proxima in battle, this uniform will still have value for you. Which is why this is the first uniform that I purchased as soon as the Black Order uniforms came out because I knew that there would be value no matter what. And I'm confident in saying that this uniform is possibly the highest value one of the Black Order in the long run. That doesn't necessarily mean that Proxima is the strongest character among the Black Order. It just means that I think her uniform brings a lot more to the table than the other Black Order members do. Which is saying something because the other Black Order uniforms are pretty strong as well. And I'll try to showcase maybe another one of them in the future if I could get enough materials to do so. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see about that. I wouldn't hold my breath about it. So that is my Proxima showcase. Did you take Proxima Midnight to Tier 3? Did you get her new uniform? What are your thoughts on the character? Do they align with mine? I don't know, but I hope this video was able to kind of show Proxima's strengths off and to give you an insight into how good the character actually is. And as always, thank you so much for watching.